I was digging through the bargain bin on Steam the other day, and I came across Jules. I'm guessing the main character here is Jules, but there isn't really much of a story to begin with. Jumping into the first level, you'll immediately realise it's heavily inspired by Castlevania. Jules here is armed with the whip that he whips torches with to get coins, and uses said coins to throw secondary weapons. But moving on past the Castlevania similarities, Jules is your stock standard 2D platformer. You go from left to right, fight a boss at the end, and move on to the next level. Now as you may have guessed, I just love my pixel art games. Hell, pretty much every game I've done on Dollar Game Club so far has been a pixel game. I might want to fix that. But all that aside for now, despite its simple graphics and limited palette, each level feels unique. The level design was really good too. Like, there weren't any sections where it felt cheap or impossible to pass, but there was some definite challenge here, like this section in the desert, which felt like an endless bridge of falling platforms. And I thoroughly enjoyed the tower level. My overall playtime clocked in at around 90 minutes, but somebody who's much better at platformers than I am would probably beat it in a lot less time. Actually, this game would probably benefit from a time attack mode, it begs for speedruns. But is it worth a dollar? Yeah, it's worth a dollar.